Alright guys, historical moment, time to try to power up this thing. The lots of components had a lot of abuse, like video cards I use on a few videos, and uh, motherboard as well, drop a few things on it. So let's let's see <coughs> if uh, it works. Oh, I see the power button is on, which is already good news. So something it works. So let's uh, press the power button. Okay, pump works. Views, something happens. Come on, yes, it works. Excellent. All right. Will I get okay? Even recognize my CD-ROM, but I would like to go to BIOS first. Okay. My drives here. Okay. Now what I'd like to see is uh, temperature for CPU because a lot of stuff on the uh, dual radiator. So I'd like to run it for a few minutes and um, we'll see if temperature will start climbing up. It means that system cannot handles the load and uh, now I have everything maximized so all fans going at maximum speed 3000 RPMs so I can't get uh, any more performance out of my water cooling so I have 33 degrees here and uh, I'll run it for maybe like 20 minutes or 30 minutes and uh, if it's uh, start getting up 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 it means that uh, the system just kind of handle itself and um, if everything works great, I will start putting Windows on and I come back with more videos trying to run some benchmarking and stuff like this to show you what's happening here. Here I have my system running for 4 hours. In first hour temperature went from 33 to 36 and I got a little bit concerned and even was 37 at some point so I started getting nervous that the system will keep keep climbing up 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 and uh, my double radiator just not workable solution at all but uh, after four hours it's still 36 and um, so I think it's safe to go and install Windows so my system will, will not boil on the way and we'll see how things will work out with um, you know w working under the load and uh, we'll try to overclock it and see if I still can manage it if not we'll have to reconsider my radiator selection and uh, go with the triple which definitely will can handle the load uh, it's no question here After running 3 million Windows 7 updates, I am ready to download a few benchmarking software and try to run and see what my temperatures look like. Uh, right now my core is about, uh, about around 50 degrees, 47, 45 Celsius. And uh, so I run 3D Mark 11 and uh, we'll see uh, where my temperatures will be. I'm still not overclocked. So I'm running um, 3 gigahertz, which is stock uh, speed for the CPU, and uh, I'll see if my my temperature will will be still okay and I can handle the load. And everything will be okay. I will try to overclock to four and see what will happen. So if it's still safe, it'll be great. So so far, uh, Admiral holding uh, pretty good. Double radiator for four components, not bad. So uh, let's see what we'll get here.
going through the process fittings feels warm now not sure with the temperature and if I put my hand uh, on the radiator above the radiator level I can feel that uh, air is coming rather warm but we'll see what the temperature will be on the CPU side when we will finish testing interesting note that when I touch fitting that goes uh, to CPU and from CPU the temperature is uh, quite different so anyways I just uh, finished uh, my testing that's the first results I got here and um, let's see what the temperature look like well it's not so big difference actually so I went from the approximately <coughs> let me show you here so numbers didn't went more than uh, 54 here so probably gain uh, 5 degrees or so it wasn't that bad I think next step I should try is uh, to press a magic 4 gigahertz button and see um, if we can handle that here rebooted after pressing magic 4G button as you can see I'm running at 4 gigahertz and temperature already went about 10 degrees for cores so I have like um, about 50 under the non-overclocked version now I'm ready like 55 so I would like to leave it for a couple hours temperature actually went down after I stop uh, running uh, benchmarking software so obviously it works fine with 4 gigahertz so I would like to run uh, future mark again and see what the temperature will look like Rig is pretty noisy, but definitely usable in my configuration, so uh, if I could, I will put triple radiator just to bring uh, noise level down, but um, it's definitely workable, and um, I don't see any problems with overheating. Here's temperatures after the test, and uh, slightly higher score due to overclock CPU. Okay, I'll try it to burn a little bit here. Overclock 4 gigahertz. There's the current temperatures for the cold system, more or less. 33, 40, around 40 degrees. GPU is even less. And um, so let's um, let's see what's happened for an hour. So let it run for a while and uh, we'll, we'll show you in a few minutes how temperatures will start creeping up. First, test, first 10 minutes, everything relatively stable, still barely goes above 70. You can see here 73, hi, this is the line, pretty stable too. Here we go on 30 minutes mark. Temperature small is the same. Trying to move some windows here without much success. The last um, quarter of the hour, barely climbed 76 in one of the cores. Other than that, it's pretty much the same as 15 minutes ago. So, also added to see what's happening with GPUs obviously climbing a little bit up because the water is getting hotter other than that no major changes okay test is completed so what we get here is so the highest scores I get was uh, 
low 70s for the idle we have like high 30s average so almost double when we burn it so you see as a test finished temperature drop dramatically down now it's basically limits just by temperature of the water which takes more time to cool off and um, I would guys really impressed with uh, Admiral at this point because this is double radiator I have a serious concerns if it will be able to handle load at all I was mentally ready to take it off and put a Rx360 or something like this instead but it's fine so it works it's uh, I really surprised that that's, that's the only thing I can tell and uh, <clears throat> I only can imagine what a triple uh, version can do so it's definitely uh, will a let me to bring noise levels down and uh, the next thing actually I would like to play around is uh, start slowing down my fans and see how uh, quiet the rig I can get uh, without like burning it up just for like regular use and uh, that will be another test for me and also I need to finish up the modding itself uh, there's still distilled water inside so I would like to get some uh, orange uh, UV reactive liquid and see how um, the colors will change because now I have a uh, UV is purple and it's not the right color that I want to see inside of my plexiglass block so and also I need some lighting in um, in my reservoir so a few things need to be finished up but the testing part I don't know guys I'm not big on work working so I did it for you so I can see some results but I'm not going to kill myself against the wall tweaking to higher overclocks and, and stuff like this it, it's really like not my cup of tea it, it's kind of boring for me so anyways so you see what it can do um, really looking forward to get a bigger version of Admiral for myself uh, hopefully it will happen soon and uh, thank you for watching and I uh, will come back to the modding part which is more exciting for me thank you very much bye bye